everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making the Mercury Backpack by Cura Threads. I'm going to be doing the mini size backpack in this tutorial. This is their newest pattern release. It was released uh, Monday the 15th. So I'm super excited to be able to um, film this tutorial. Okay, so we are going to prep some of our pieces that we have cut out. We have our front top panel along with the front top stabilizer. We have the front bottom pocket and the stabilizer. We have the zipper flap with the zipper flap stabilizer right here. I'm just gonna set these aside. We have our base with our heavy interfacing. I'm using a Decoville Heavy. For my interfacing, I am using a Sophie's Plus instead of Decoville Light. Um, that's just what I'm gonna use for mine. Um, so here we have our side panels. So we have our side panels here with our interfacing. along with our back panel and the stabilizer that goes with it. And the last thing we have is the strap connectors with the stabilizer as well. So we're going to start prepping this so that we can fuse our interfacing on. So let's go ahead and start with our connector piece here. You're gonna wanna grab a ruler or some, and a pen, or you can use um, a heat marker or a heat erase pen if you would like. So I am just grabbing my pen real quickly. So for the connectors, we're going to find our centers. So this is a two inch strap and our center is going to be one inch. So you'll mark that one inch. And I also like to mark out the center of my interfacing piece. Our interfacing piece, I believe, is measured at it's measured at seven eighths of an inch wide. So I'm going to measure three eighths of an inch from the edge so that I can get a um, my center line. So for this, you can either just line up the edges here, trying to match that line. However, what I like to do is I'm going to measure out 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm going to mark that line on both sides. This just gives me a, um, a better guide for lining it up and making sure that it's going to stay within that seam allowance for the um, strap connector. So you're gonna do that for both of your pieces and I've already done that to both my pieces. So I'm gonna take this over to my heat press and press these on to my um, piece. Okay, so here's our base piece. Grab your pen, and I'm going to use these um, seam allowance templates that I got from Recent Relic. 
I absolutely love these. These are my favorite to use. So I'm just going to line this up for the 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. So you can see this one here says, um, oops, half inch, 5 eighths of an inch. So we're going to just line that up here and then mark it. And we're going to do this on all sides. So there we go. And now you will just press this stabilizer right on here. So go ahead and press that. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the zipper flap. So grab your zipper flap piece. I want to adhere or fuse my interfacing onto my um, flap. The pattern has you sew it and then you can slip this into the flap, but I find it easier to just um, measure it out. So I'm gonna measure out one and three eighths of an inch from the edge here because that will be my center. So I measured out one and three eighths of an inch. And I'm also going to measure out a quarter inch because that's what it's gonna have you sew this at on each side. So I'm going to And now I just want to place my interfacing just right above that line. So I'm going to interface it within this box right here. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap, about an eighth of an inch. That way, whenever I go to fold it over, it doesn't hit the interfacing. It will be a nice crisp line. So go ahead and fuse this on to your zipper flap if you plan to do it this way. So there we go. The zipper flap is now fused on to our... So this is what it will look like once we stitch that together. So I'm going to set this aside as well and we can move on to the side panels. So our side panels here have you fuse, um, have you mark out five eighths of an inch from each edge as well. So I'm going to mark out five eighths of an inch from all edges here. So there we go. And this will just sit right here and you will go ahead and fuse that on like so. So it should end up like this. Once you're done with that and you've fused both of the interfacing, deckable light or whatever um, light interfacing you're using or medium interfacing you're using, once you fuse that to the side panel, we can move on to the um, front bottom pocket. Okay, so grab your front bottom pocket. Along with your stabilizer. And we want to mark out one inch at the top of our front bottom pocket. And I like to just put a little T here so that I know that this is my top. From there, we're going to mark out 5 eighths of an inch from the sides here. So the rest, these three sides are going to be 5 eighths of an inch. So 
so that's how that should be okay so now that we have marked that one inch along with the five eighths of an inch around our front bottom pocket we're just going to fuse that interfacing on to the back. Now you're going to want to grab your front top stabilizer and your front top panel. So I'm going to set that aside right now and I'm going to grab my ruler. And we are going to measure one and seven eighths of an inch from the top here. Mark a line. We're going to go down one inch. Mark our line. And then we're going to measure out seven eighths of an inch from the edge here. And we're going to cut out this box. And I'm just going to use my rotary cutter. Okay, set this aside and grab the top panel. And on here, we are going to mark out the seams at 5 eighths of an inch and at 3 eighths and a half inch. So I'm just going to grab my seam so I have all my half inch, five eighths, and my three eighths. So for the top here, I'm going to mark out three eighths of an inch. And then what I like to do, just like my other one, I like to mark my top so I know where my top is. On each side, we are going to mark out five eighths of an inch. So I'm going to mark out five eighths of an inch on both of my short edge sides. So now I have these marked at five eighths of an inch, and then I have this at three eighths of an inch at my top. The bottom here is going to be marked out at a half inch so mark a half inch and that is where we will fuse our interfacing and I just like to put a top here or a T here so that I know that this is my top of my interfacing so go ahead and fuse that and grab the back panel once done. So we're going to grab the back panel and the back panel stabilizer. So we're going to set the panel aside and grab the stabilizer and we're going to do the same thing we did to the front pocket. I'm going to measure three and three eighths of an inch down. eighths of an inch down. Mark my line. Then we're going to measure down one inch from that line that we just drew. Mark it. 
And then we're going to mark 7 eighths of an inch from each of these along sides right here. And now we're just gonna cut this out. So real quickly, I'm just gonna mark my T so that I know where my top is. So there we go. Set this aside and grab the main panel or the back panel. And we're going to mark out three eighths of an inch from our top. So I'm just gonna mark out three eighths of an inch. And this is my top. So I'm just gonna write a T so I know and then the rest is going to be 5 eighths of an inch. So 5 eighths of an inch here, 5 eighths of an inch here, and 5 eighths of an inch here. So there we go. Now that we have this all marked, so five eighths of an inch around here and three eighths of an inch, we are going to just fuse our piece on to our exterior, just like this. So go ahead and fuse these pieces. Okay, so now we're going to start sewing our bag. We're going to grab our handle. I am going to just do mine where it's a, just like a regular strap where I go to the middle and then I fold over again. I'm not going to do the contrasting. So I'm going to grab my ruler and a marking pin. And we want to measure out the center of this. Since it is one inches, um, it is going to be a one inch strap or um, it's gonna be a one inch handle. I know that my center is two inches. So I am just marking out the two inches. Okay, so we have marked our center on our handle. So let's go ahead and grab some double-sided tape and add it on. Just gonna fold up to my line, leaving just a little bit of a gap. I'm making sure that I'm not stretching out my vinyl. going to clip this in place. And now we are going to top stitch this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance.
So now we have our long straps. We're going to mark our centers. And I am just doing a regular strap. I am not doing a um, the contrasting. So I only have just one of the handles cut. So I don't have to do the top and bottom. So we're going to mark this two inches, which is the center for one inch strap. Okay, and now we're going to do the same exact thing to the other strap. So grab double-sided tape and add it. I'm going for this for this one, I'm going to add it to the edge of my strapped here just because um, this is a little bit stretchy. So um, it just be it'll be a little bit more secure if I add it on the edges. We're going to take the tape off and we're going to fold our edges to the center. And now we're just going to top stitch this at a eighth of an inch seam allowance all the way around to both sides of our strap. There we go. We now have both of our straps done. Okay, so now that we've done our long straps, we are going to grab our strap connectors. And we want to mark our centers on our connectors. This is two inches, so the strap connectors are going to be marked at one inch for both. And then we can add some double-sided tape. Okay, we are going to take off our double-sided tape backing and we are just going to fold these raw edges to the center line that we drew. 
So there we go. Repeat to the other connector. Okay, so there we go. We now have two of our connectors with the raw edges folded and we are going to top stitch this at an eighth of an inch on both sides. have our connectors stitched at an eighth of an inch from the edge and we're going to grab our one inch rectangle rings and right where you see this weld here I'm hoping you can see it so there is a bit of a weld in the center that is where you're going to want to Put your um, connector in so you don't see it. It's going to be covered up by the connector. So go ahead and clip those down. You want the folded edges that we folded inside. So you want the nice side on the outside. And we are going to base this at an eighth of an inch from each of these short edges. We now have them based it at an eighth of an inch on each of the edges. We're going to grab the connector triangles and you're going to want to also grab your ruler and on the long edge side we are going to measure out one inch and do the same for the second connector triangle connector here. So you should have both of them um, with a one inch line from the top. We're going to measure two and three fourths of an inch from the short edge here. And make a second line. We're going to do the same exact thing to the other connector. We're going to grab a double sided tape and place it on to the edge of our triangle connectors right here. We're going to fold down our raw edge to that line that we marked out. Repeat that to the second triangle connector. So there we go. You can grab your completed connectors here 
and you want to measure out two inches from the top here. So let me just grab my one inch ruler here. Two inches, and I'm just gonna place a little mark just like this. Oh, two inches from the bottom. Not two inches from the top. So we're gonna place it right here on this two inch mark. And you want to fold it over. And clip. Just making sure it stays at that two inch. You can add some double sided tape if you want to to help hold it in place. We're going to repeat that to the other side. So two inches from the top. We're going to add our connector. And this time we're going to want to fold it the opposite way because you're going to want two mirrored connectors. So you want them both to be in the middle like this. So I'm going to make sure it's nice and even. Going to clip this side and clip the rest here. Just making sure it's all nice and even. So there we go. So you should have them both in the middle. And we're going to top stitch this at an eighth of an inch and then a quarter of an inch from the folded edge. So not the raw edge here. You don't want to sew on this. You're going to do a fourth of an inch from the fold, uh, a fourth of an inch from the folded edge, and a eighth of an inch from the folded edge. I'm gonna grab a piece of leather so that my hardware doesn't get scratched up my foot. And now we're going to do our second row of top stitching at a quarter inch from the folded edge.
So we have them stitched at that fourth of an inch and eighth of an inch. And now we're going to mark out from corner to corner. Making sure you have mirrored pieces. So your pieces should look like this. And now we're just going to cut on that line. So your pieces should look like this. We're gonna set this aside and move on to the next step. You're gonna want to grab the front top lining along with the front top panel. And we're going to work with the lining part first. So you're gonna put your lining wrong sides up and we are going to mark a box. So you wanna mark one inch down from your top panel. From there, you're going to mark a half inch from that line we just drew out. So this should be a half inch. And then you're gonna measure out three quarters of an inch from each of the long edges here. So there we go. So you should now have a box and the box should measure six and a half inches long. So yes, six and a half inches is what that box should measure. Now you're going to grab the front top panel and we had, I marked my tops here so that I knew where my top was just because it does have this cut out on the interfacing. Do you wanna go on your the right side, making sure that you have the top correct. So this is my top. I'm actually going to find my center just to make this a little bit easier for me. And now I can mark that one and a half inch. If you want, you can mark out a line with your chalk. And then also mark out the centers here. That way you can line up this crease here. So there we go. And now I'm just going to clip this in place here. So now this is clipped in place, we are going to stitch around this box.
we are going to cut through right on this center here. Do the same on the other side. And then I like to get this small pair of scissors that I have and I like to use it to get as close as I can to my corners without going over my stitching or clipping my stitching. Okay, I'm just making sure I got as close as I could to those corners. Okay. And now you're just going to turn this through the hole here. gonna place a couple of clips right here in this edge to hold it in place while we sew our zipper flap. side. Okay, so there we go. So that is going to be my pocket. I'm just going to set this aside for now. And we are going to grab the zipper flap. So grab your zipper flap. And also your um, stabilizer if you did not fuse it onto the back like I did. So I'm just going to grab a few clips because we're just going to fold this right sides together matching these long raw edges here. And we're going to stitch this at a quarter inch seam allowance on the edge here. Now go ahead and grab your scissors and we're going to just trim off this bulk here on the edge. So you don't want to go through your stitching but as close as you can to it. Um, so about an eighth of an inch away. And this will help to get a nice corner and so now I'm going to grab my chopstick that I like to use to poke out this corner here being careful not to push through my stitching but now you can see it is a nice
corner here. It's not inverted. Okay, so now I'm just going to clip my top here just to help hold it in place. Okay, I'm going to set my um, just trying to push this up a little bit so that it doesn't stick out as much. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to top stitch this around at an eighth of an inch. If you did not fuse your interfacing, you can go ahead and slip it in now, which is what the pattern has you do. Mine is already fused on, so I don't have to slip mine in. So now we're just going to top stitch this around at an eighth of an inch. And then we're going to go down an eighth of an inch down here. So now we're going to grab our zipper. I'm going to mark my centers because I find marking my centers is a lot easier if I do it before I put my zipper pull on. your zipper pull that you're going to use for this. I am just using a small um, donut one just because I don't want it to be bulky underneath the flap. Okay, so there we go. So I have my zipper on. Let's go ahead and add on the zipper flap. So we're going to center it on the top. So you want to make sure that when you center this that your zipper is actually going to be um, oh, like closing to the left and opening to the right. So I'm going to match my centers. I'm going to move my pull down a little bit so it's not in the way. And then I'm just going to match these centers right here. You could also wait to put on your zipper pull, which I'm actually going to do because it's uneven and that bothers me. So I'm gonna grab my zipper jig. Keep that to the side because I'm still gonna need it. And add my zipper flap. Actually, want it this way. Okay, so now we can add our zipper flap. And we're going to base this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance at the top here. It 
It's now basted on at that eighth of an inch seam allowance. And I am going to now put on my zipper pull again. So there we go. That is what our flap is going to look like. So we are going to add some double-sided tape, and I'm just going to add it to the top of my um, zipper here and my flap. So you're just going to add it from one end to the other, like so. You could use a quarter inch, but... Um, I just prefer the eighth of an inch because then I know for sure it's not going to show um, if my seam allowance isn't perfect when I do a three-eighths of an inch. Because sometimes my zipper foot is a little too big, um, so I can really only go a quarter inch or a little bit more than a quarter inch. So that's why I like to use the eighth of an inch. So we're gonna set that aside and we can grab the um, front top panel. And we want to measure 3 eighths of an inch from each of the folded edges here of our box. So I'm gonna pull off my clips now. And I'm actually, I think, let me see. I'm going to add some double-sided tape. To the edge right here. Okay, so I'm just going to put the double-sided tape here to help hold this down just because I am not using um, cotton or anything so I can't really press it since I have vinyl I don't want to accidentally um, I don't want to accidentally melt my my vinyl so Just going to add some of this score tape. It's not as sticky as my Waywack tape, so it'll be easy for me to pull it right back up when I need to. And now I'm going to do the same exact thing to my other side. Just want to make sure that my for my bottom part here that it's it's nice and tight and there's not any uh, lining showing from that side. So just going to redo. There we go. Perfect. So now it's going to be a little bit easier for us to mark out this three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So I'm going to mark out three eighths from that side, turn it and mark out three eighths from this side here. I'm 
Now we can grab our zipper here. And we're just going to line it up with the lines that we made. We're going to start down at the bottom here, leaving your thread tails long so that you don't see the stitching. You're just going to pull this thread up like this and it will pull your bobbin out so the, you see how it pulled that bobbin. So I'm going to just pull that, pull this side too. And you can just tie this. I like to just set my thread tails like this and then push down and it melts it in place so that it won't fray. So we can now do our second line of stitching here. And there we go. We now have our zipper flap done. So it opens up. Now you just want to pull this to the top here, matching these short raw edges together. And clip. And we're going to stitch from here in a U shape. So we're going to go up here, over, and over, and back down the sides here at a quarter inch seam allowance. 
So you just want to make sure you pull this panel out of the way. Okay, so now that we have finished our top front panel with the zipper flap, we're going to grab our bottom panel or our bottom zipper, which is a bottom pocket zipper, and our two zipper tabs. My zipper tabs are going to be a little bit different than what the pattern calls for since I am using vinyl instead of fabric. So. Um, I'm not going to have to fold in the middle and then fold again. I'm trying to have as, um, I'm trying to avoid having any bulk, unnecessary bulk. So I do want where my, um, top is, has no raw edges. So in order for that to, for me to do that, I have cut my pieces here at one and a half by one and a half I believe yeah so these are cut at one and a half by one and a half and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clip these on here at the end on both of my edges and I am going to stitch this on with a half inch seam allowance So it's stitched at a half inch. And now when I go to fold this, it's going to be a half inch tab. And the bottom will have a raw edge, which is I'm okay with because you don't really see the that bottom edge. So I'm just going to line this up like so, and we're going to clip this. And just measure so it is a half inch for both. And now you can just top stitch this at the end here and that will catch this and hold it in place for you. And now you can just trim off any excess. Okay, so now that we have added the tab to our zipper, we're going to grab the front bottom pocket panel and our ruler along with a marking pin and at the one inch side that we um, put our interfacing at which I marked as my top I'm going to turn it so that my top is still here at the front and I'm going to mark seven eighths of an inch from the top you want to make sure that this is at that one inch mark that we made at the top where we fused our interfacing um, and not at the bottom where it's going to be three eighths of an inch because you're trying to keep the um, interfacing out of your seam allowance. So I marked it at seven eighths of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and also find my center. And 
then we are going to grab our zipper with the tabs. Also find the center. Okay, so once you find your center, you also want to make sure that the center is, or that your zipper is going to be going the way you want it to open. So I like my bag, so for this, for this pocket here, it wants you to have it where the zipper is going to open this open this way but close to the left so we're gonna face this down with the right sides facing down double checking my centers here and we're going to clip I'm just going to make sure your sides are about even. That's about seven eighths. And that's about. Okay, so they're about one inch on each side. Now we can base this at an eighth of an inch on the edge here of your zipper. And I'm going to just pull my zipper down so that it's not in the way. And we're gonna base this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. We're going to grab one of the front bottom linings. And we're going to place the front bottom lining and the front bottom pocket right sides together. Making sure that your edges here are even on both sides. And then clip. And we are going to stitch this on here with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. So 3 8 of an inch seam allowance from here to here, making sure you back stitch at the beginning and end of your um, stitch. have it stitched at that 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Now we're going to pull up our pocket here like this, making sure that our zipper is still right sides touching our panel, our front panel, and we're going to top stitch right along this lining. You want to make sure you catch this seam right here. So that's what it should look like. Now we're going to turn the front bottom lining to the back front pocket, wrong sides together. So like this, so your wrong sides are going to be together. We're going to place the second 
front bottom lining right sides up on our table like this. And then we're going to get our front panel and we're going to set it on top, lining up the edges and centering it. So now we're going to stitch this on with a eighth of an inch seam allowance. So we're just basing this on. We have that stitched on with that eighth of an inch seam allowance. And now we are going to grab the front top panel, which is the part with the flap. And we're going to place this. You want the top to be matching the bottom of your panel. And you want the bottom of the, of the top panel matching the top of your bottom. So it should look once you clip it, it should look like this. And we're going to stitch this here at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Should be stitched on just like this, both of these at three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So, after we have added this with the three eighths of an inch seam allowance, we're going to lift all the panels away from the second front bottom lining. So, this is the second front bottom lining. We're going to put place all these linings to the left, making sure you don't catch your zipper pocket. And we're going to top stitch this. So if you move your bottom lining, there's going to be nothing underneath. All your panels should be facing the opposite of your bottom panel. And we're going to top stitch this here at an eighth of an inch, making sure you catch your seam here. So we have them both top stitched here. Now with that, we are going to fold at the seven eighths of an inch line that we just, that we had um, marked out in the beginning. So we're going to we're going to fold this wrong sides together. So like this. So these wrong sides are going to be folded here. So I'm just going to start in the center and go on this line here. And it should want to just kind of fold up because we have right here that interfacing. So that line is right where that interfacing is. And so it's just going to want to like naturally fold right on that interfacing. So you should have a nice crisp fold right here. I'm just going to clip. And we are going to move all of these away and we are going to top stitch this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. So I'm just going to move my zipper out of the way a little bit.
So there we have it. We have this top stitch at that eighth of an inch seam allowance on that seven eighths of an inch fold. And for me, since I do have this um, erasing or it's like a wipe away silver pen from uh, Morminos, you can just get a baby wipe and just wipe it off along with any chalk markings that we have from from when we marked previously. So, it should look like this. I'm just going to dry off my So now it's time to match up our seams. We're going to match up our seams here. So you want to match up this seam with this seam. So the lining seams are going to be matching. I don't know if you can see that. And fold. You can do the same thing here where the front so you're going to match these linings together so match up the seams where the front bottom linings are attached to the front top panel and the front top panel um, and then we're going to clip in place this side and I want to clip these sides here to hold it in and do the same to my other side And we are going to stitch this at a quarter inch seam allowance from the top here down to where the pockets lining ends. Actually, before we do that, we're actually going to pull this back and you want to stitch the bottom. You want to stitch this bottom here with a quarter inch seam allowance. So stitch your bottom first. Now we can stitch from the top here down to where the um, bottom lining ends. And this is going to be at a quarter inch seam allowance. I just want to make sure that my sides stay matched up or my seams stay matching I'm 
Now we're going to do the same thing over here. A quarter inch. I'm going to start at the bottom. Making sure my sides stay matching. Okay, so there we go. So it should look like this now. You have your front pocket. Let's see, I don't know if you can see because it's so dark. I'm trying to see now. You have your front pocket here and then you have your zipper pocket right here. I love this. Okay, so now that we are done with this, we are going to move on to step six, which is assembling the back panel. Okay, so now we're moving on to the back panel. You're gonna want to grab the back pocket lining. So my back pocket lining. And you're also gonna want to grab your back pocket panel, or your back panel. We're going to set this lining, back panel lining side just off to the side right now. And you're going to get your back pocket lining and turn it wrong sides. So the wrong side's facing up. And we're going to mark three quarters of an inch from the top here. So three quarters of an inch. Now we're gonna go a half inch from that mark that we just marked out. So you should have a half inch, two lines that are half inch apart. And we are going to mark three quarters of an inch from the long sides here. So there we go. Now we're going to grab our front panel here. And you want to make sure that your top is your top and bottoms are the right way cuz when we measure down from the top, you want this box to be within here where there's no interfacing. So turn your pocket right sides. Like I said, my top is going to be facing up. I'm going to place my pocket right sides down and I'm going to also um, clip my center. I'm going to do the same thing to my lining panel here. Do the same to my other side. Oops, just want to Okay, 
So now I have both of my I have both of my centers marked and I'm going to mark a line down my center here. This is just going to help line it up so I don't really have to cl clip. Okay. So my center is marked. Making sure that my top is still facing up. And I'm going to place this right sides down. And we are going to measure three and a quarter inches from the top. So three and a quarter inches right here from my top. And I'm going to grab my panel here. And we're going to mark out this line. But now I can just match up the line, the center line with my half inch mark. And then I know also that I want my, I want my, the edge of my lining to be even or matched up with the top. And now we are going to just stitch this box down. like we did for the last panel. Now we're just going to mark out these, cut out the um, center here. I'm just going to clip as close as I can without going over my stitching. Same to this side here. So there we go. close as I can to my corners without going over and we're going to just push this through going to go ahead and place some clips to help hold this in place for me. Okay, so there we go. So 
there is our pocket for the zipper pocket. We are going to grab our zipper, our back panel zipper, which the back panel zipper should measure out nine inches long. Yes, I just like to double check my zippers just in case they get mixed up. Grab our zipper pull. I'm just using a regular zipper pull. Okay, so we have our zipper pull on, and we're going to just center this on and top stitch it around at an eighth of an inch. I'm just double checking to make sure that everything You can leave long, throughout, long tails at the end so that you can tie it off. I'm just going to backstitch. So I'm actually going to grab some of my eighth of an inch double sided tape to help hold it in place. So I'm not always the best at putting on zippers straight. So the tape helps. And I have some, I go between um, score tape and Tandy's. I just haven't gone to Tandy's and I just so happen to have score tape. But I typically use tape from Tandy leather. Okay. So there we go. We have that on. Um, now I'm going to just take out these clips. We want our zipper pull facing towards the left. So you want it to close to the left and open to the right. going to center my zipper here.
Okay, so now we can top stitch this here. We're going to top stitch this at an eighth of an inch all the way around. I'm going to start at the bottom. There we go. So we have that top stitched all the way around. Now we are going to clip here at the top. Okay, so we have it clipped all the way around, and we're just going to move our panels out of the way, making sure that we don't accidentally stitch this on, and we are going to stitch this here at a quarter inch seam allowance. So at a quarter inch, we're going to close up our zipper pocket. So now we have our back pocket. And now we can move on to our handles. Okay, so now we are going to move on to adding our straps. So you're gonna grab your back panel that we just got done adding our zipper to, along with a marking pen. 
and you're going to want to measure um, two inches down from the top edge. So we're going to mark out two inches from this top edge here. Two inches, two inches. And there we have our line. From the line, we're going to mark one and a quarter inches down. So one and a quarter inch down from that line. So it should look like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and mark our center, which kind of is already there from earlier. So there we go, we have our center marked. And you're gonna grab your handle. So we have our handle here. And I want to grab my one inch ruler. This is just gonna help me to um, add it on. Quicker. So I also want to grab some double-sided tape. I'm just going to pick which side looks better stitch-wise. I think this will be better here. Yeah. I want my handles, like the raw edges, to be um, facing out. So I want them to be facing the back so that when you look at the front, you have these nice folded edges. So I'm going to just add some double-sided tape. At the end, so that I can remember. And we want to place these three eighths of an inch from the bottom. So I'm going to draw, mark out a line. So I'm going to mark out three eighths of an inch just to help me. I always find marking helps with measuring. It is an extra step but I find it totally worth it. Okay, so three eighths of an inch. This is where our handle is gonna be. And I'm going to just place my first ruler up against that line right here because it's gonna be one inch away. I'm gonna take off my double-sided tape. And I'm going to place this handle right up to that line and up against I'm going to do the same. I'm going to grab this and add this right up against oops that three-eighths of an inch line so there we go it should look like this and it should be two inches apart so I just really want to make sure that they so one and two okay perfect so they're two inches apart now you want them one inch from the center and I am going to just I'm gonna stitch here 
and sit here. I'm not going to do a box because I'm going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and put a rivet into the back here. Yeah. Or I'm just going to do two lines. So I want to do a line here, making sure it's even. going to get my one inch ruler here and hold it up against Same thing to my other side, making sure it's nice and even. Okay, so now we can add our long straps. So we're going to set this aside just for a little bit and grab the long straps here. So I'm going to want these to be mirrored. I'm just going to try to find what side looks better. This side. Okay. So I'm going to want my folded edges to be pointing towards the center. That way when I put it on, um, the this folded side is facing inwards. You can't really see it, but the nice folded side here the solid fold is facing out so you want to mark three eighths of an inch from the bottom here same here three eighths of an inch And then you're going to mark from that 3 eighths of an inch to the corner, like so. And then you're going to do the opposite, that from the other side here. So you're going to do from that corner to that line. And you're just gonna cut these off here. So 
So it should look like this. So I have two pieces that the longest sides should be inwards towards each other. Grab your back panel. And the same thing I'm going to Add some double-sided tape right here at that 3 8 of an inch line. And you're going to get this first strap and line it up so that it's even with the 3 8 of an inch mark. So it should look like this. And I'm just going to grab my clips just to hold the straps in place so they don't move. And we are going to stitch this. I'm going to do the same thing where I do two stitch lines. If you would like, you can do the box, but I'm just going to do two stitch lines. Okay, so now we have our straps sewn on like so. We can now move on to adding our strap. Our strap strip right here. So we're going to set this aside. Grab your strap strip. We're going to mark out our center here so let's see what our center is going to be i believe it's one and a one and a half so one and a quarter Grab your marking pen. Add double-sided tape to the center here.
fold your raw edges to the center. Now I'm going to add more double-sided tape right down the center here to help hold it in place when I stitch. And it will be out of my seam allowance, so. Grab your back panel. And you're going to place your strap right on these edges that you marked out. I'm actually going to, I'm gonna line mine up with the top edge here. And we're now going to top stitch, stop, top stitch around at a eighth of an inch seam allowance. So let's go ahead and top stitch. And I'm going to add a couple of, I'm going to add, let me see if I'm going to light what it looks like with rivet. So I'm just going to grab some, I'm going to grab rivet caps just to see if I would light the way it looks with rivets. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these, add some rivets to my. But I'm gonna get longer rivets. I believe I should have some. I hope. Let me double check. Okay, so I only have. only have two long ones and that's okay because I can just use these here. out my hole on my back. Okay, so we're going to punch my holes for my rivets here. I'm just going to eyeball it. go 
it to. I'm going to eyeball it, but I want to make sure that it's at least in a straight line. So I'm just going to mark out some dots here. So there we go. Now I can add my rivets. rivet setter my rivet press and we are going to set these rivets perfect so my rivets are set and I like how that looks so you can now move on to adding our connector, our strap connector. So we're gonna grab the triangle, grab your triangle um, connectors here. And we're going to mark three and a quarter inches from the edge here. So three quarters of an inch from the bottom edge. Like so. And we're going to grab the connectors. Making sure they are the right way. Okay, and we are going to place the 
the, the end or this the corner of this triangle to that three quarters of an inch line and clip. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. Lip that corner. So it should look like this. And now we're just going to base this at a quarter inch seam allowance on both of these raw edges here. Repeat that to the other side. Okay, so now we have these basted on at that quarter inch. And we're going to go ahead and add on our straps. So since I'm using vinyl straps, they were a little too thick for my uh, regular um, strap adjusters. So I am grabbing these wide mouth straps from Emmeline Bags. So once again, we're just going to go up and over and then we're going to go through our strap we're going to go up from here so I'm going up and then I'm going to go over through here and this will I'm gonna rip it this together so that will have a rip it and now you have a adjustable strap So now we're going to do the same thing to our other side, so making sure your strap is not twisted. We're going to go from under, so we're going to go up, over, and down through here. I'm going to adjust it so it goes all the way to the top. And then from here, making sure that it's all nice and straight, we're going to go from here and then you can see right here we have these two we're going in through the closest from the top and then we're gonna go down close to the bottom and that is where it will rip it 
I will ribbon it. And I will add strap ends to mine so that we don't have any raw edges. So, I'm going to grab my long rivet posts and I'm going to punch my hole through There we go, we have it rivet onto itself and I'm gonna repeat to my second side. Rip it. And then we can go ahead and set them. So, my rivets are set on my bag. And I'm going to go ahead and place my straps all the way to the top so that my straps are not super long. So 
there we go. So now we're going to do our side pocket. So we are done with the back panel for now. So set this aside. Okay. So grab your side pocket and your side panels. Exteriors only. For the side pocket, you're going to have both your lining and your exterior. We'll set aside the lining or the side pockets for now and we're going to place our linings and our exterior right sides together and clip at the top. Do the same thing to the other side. Just like this. And now we are going to Stitch this together at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance from the top here. Now we're going to turn over our pockets here. And we're going to top stitch at an eighth of an inch seam allowance at the top here. So there we go. They're both top stitched. And now we're going to want to baste our edges here at an eighth of an inch as well. So now we have our side pockets basted around so that everything is joined and it's now one piece. So I like to trim off this extra bit here that's on the edge. It just helps to line up my sides. Now you're going to grab your side panels. And we are going to first line up our bottoms. I'm going to do the same thing to our second piece here. Just going to trim up this extra overhang of lining. It's going to be wrong sides together.
Okay. So there we go. Now we're going to base this at the bottom edges together at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to trim up this line in here. Any excess line, I'm just going to trim up any overhang. And now we are going to just clip in our edges here. Like this. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. You're just matching the raw edges here and your pocket should have a little bit of a, it should come out a little bit. Now we're gonna do the same thing to our other side. So we're just matching up raw edges here. Okay, so now our side pockets are clipped on and we are going to base this at an eighth of an inch as well. And we're gonna do this for both of our side panels. So let's set this aside and we're going to grab the adjustable straps. So my adjustable straps are going to be a little bit different. I am using vinyl, so I don't want it to be super bulky. So I'm only going to be folding the raw edges into here since you really won't see it since it's going to be... Um, It'll be, um, I guess, the way it's put into the bag. When you adjust it, you're not going to see the, um, the center. So, grab a ruler. Let's see. I believe we're going to do three quarters of an inch. Yeah, three quarters of an inch from each bra edge. So... Mark out three quarters of an inch here. Grab my second and mark out three quarters of an inch here. Okay. And now I'm going to add my double sided tape. Add it down the center here. So 
I'm going to take off my backing and I'm going to fold up to that line I just marked. Um, now uh, we are going to top stitch this at a eighth of an inch on each folded edge. So we're going to top stitch this. So there we go. We have these top stitch at an eighth of an inch on each side to make our adjustable strap. Now we're going to mark out three inches from the end of our strap here. And we are going to cut off that three inch. So you should have two three inch straps and the remaining straps, I believe it should be like seven inches or six inches. Um, so now we can move on to attaching this to our side panel. All right, so there we go. We have straps here, and then you'll go through both of them, and then you'll go through one here, like so. So you wanna make sure that, because I just realized, that if you're doing vinyl like this, you want to make sure that you put the wrong sides up I put my right sides up so whenever I go to put my adjustable strap through you see this side what I want is I actually want to put it wrong sides up like this you see the wrong sides is up that way whenever I go through to adjust, it covers up the line. See, so when you're looking at it, it's the right side. So I'm just going to unstitch this here, flip it, making sure this stays lined up, and I'm just going to attach this with that quarter inch seam allowance.
Okay. So there we go. Now when I put this on here, it's covered up. Just going to make it where it's just enough so it's not like too where, where it pulls up my straps or my sides. Okay, so now we have our adjustable straps in. I'm just going to place some clips to hold down my strap ends. And now we can go ahead and set this aside. And we're going to grab the exterior base. So grab the exterior base here. And we are going to mark out three-fourths of an inch line from all sides. So from all edges here, I am going to mark out three-quarters of an inch. That is way more than three quarters of an inch. That was one and three quarters. Okay, so three quarters of an inch. Go to my bottom, three quarters of an inch here. of an inch okay so now that we've done our side panels we can set that aside grab your exterior base and a marking pen we are going to measure three quarters of an inch from the long sides and the short sides. So all edges are going to be marked out at three quarters of an inch on the right side of your exterior. Making sure you're using something that will come off just going to stitch this box here so let me wipe off the um the parts that we're not going to stitch so that we don't get confused okay so we're just going to stitch on that box right there just a top stitch so I'm going to um, adjust my stitch length keep your thread tails long oh. should have checked my bobbin thread because I ran out
do that. Okay. Grab a baby wipe and I'm going to mark off my line. This one, that one was a little dried out. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to set this aside and start working on our lining. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our interior slip pocket. So you're gonna grab your slip pocket trim along with your interior slip pocket lining piece. You're going to turn over your slip pocket. So turn over the slip pocket um, trim and we're going to mark out a half an inch from the raw edge. I'm going to add tape right down the center here that's going to be out of my seam allowance. But I want to make sure that this stays in place when I go to put it on my interior slip pocket. So let's go ahead and set the slip pocket trim to the side. You're gonna grab your um, slip pocket lining and you're going to fold it wrong sides together. Just like this. We're gonna clip and we're going to base this at a, um, we're going to base this at an eighth of an inch and I'm just going to change my clip so it's a little bit easier for me to slide these off.
here we go. We're going to base this top edge here at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. We now have our interior slip pocket. Stitched at an eighth of an inch at the top. And I'm just gonna re-thread my machine. Okay, grab your slip pocket trim, take off your double-sided tape, and we're going to place the slip pocket right up to that line. And then we're going to fold this over. And we are going to top stitch the edge at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And we're going to trim off this excess here. So there we go. Now we are going to grab one of the panel base or the back panel, or lining, I guess. Grab one of your linings, your slip pocket trim, or slip pocket, and we're going to measure one and a half inches from our bottom. I'm going to mark out a line. So one and a half inches. In the bottom edge and I'm going to find my centers as well for my It, or for yeah for my um, lining and just like I did on my last I'm going to just I'm gonna measure out my center got my longer so I'm gonna measure out my center here and I don't want to put a line above here, but I do want to put a little bit of a line here where I know my slip pocket is not going to be at 
That way I can just dust it off. I don't have to worry about opening up my pocket to um, get to it. So now I can just fold my pocket like this. Just to make sure it's nice and centered. If you match it to the edge here, it should be centered regardless. But I just like to be extra sure. Okay. So I am going to look at this. It looks a little crooked, so I'm going to Okay, perfect. I'm going to clip this here at the bottom and we're going to first top stitch at the bottom right here. So we're going to top stitch this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. And now we're going to go up the edge here on both sides at a eighth of an inch seam allowance as well. Flip this over. We're going to do the same thing here, eighth of an inch seam allowance. So there is our slip pocket and we're just going to measure out the center here so let's see it's going to be right here at the center which I already have marked so it's going to be easy for me to do so there's my center going to mark it and I'm just going to stitch down the line here um, yeah
So we have that stitched down. Now I'm going to place a rivet right here in the center. I just like the way it looks. It's just my personal preference. So I'm going to just grab my rivet here. Kind of feel where that center is at. Have my rivet setter here. And add a rivet. So there we go. Okay, now that we've done our slip pocket, we're now gonna move on to our zipper pocket. So you're gonna grab your lining panel, your zipper pocket lining pieces, and your zipper overlay. Okay, so now that you have your zipper overlay and your lining, I'm going to add double-sided tape onto my zipper overlay. Just within the um, seam allowance right here so that it doesn't shift on me. There we go. Have double sided tape in. Grab your main lining panel and a ruler, and we are going to measure three and a half inches from the top. So measure three and a half inches. And then we are going to measure down a half inch from this line. So a half inch mark. And then we are going to measure one and three fourths from the edge there. So one and three fourths. Okay, so there we go. We have a half inch box marked out. And we're going to get our zipper overlay here. I'm taking off my double sided tape. And I am going to just kind of fold this So I kind of get the center, but your zipper overlay should match that box. Okay. 
Okay. So now we're going to just top stitch around the edge here at a eighth of an inch seam allowance. So now that we have that stitched out here, we are going to cut out this center piece here. So there we go, it should be out of the seam allowance here. And we are going to set this aside while we do our zipper. So for this one here, the back pocket zipper or the um, interior zipper is eight inches long. So let me find my eight inch long zipper. So I have my eight inch long zipper and I'm going to just place my um, zipper pocket here. Like so. I'm going to clip And I'm going to base this on with a eighth of an inch seam allowance here. Grab your second pocket here, and we are going to just add the same thing, just lining up our zipper. Making sure the edges are even. Okay, so going to base this together with an eighth of an inch seam allowance.
Okay. So I realized that my tension was off, but my, I figured it out. My loop was just, okay. So now we have our zipper on here so that you have the right sides like this. So your right side should be touching on your zipper pocket. And let's go ahead and add on our zipper pull. I'm gonna grab my zipper jig here. There we go. Now we are going to put this on to our panel here. I like to put double-sided tape. So I'm gonna use a eighth of an inch double-sided tape. here and the pattern has you stitch this on at a quarter inch I did an eighth of an inch just because I don't want to accidentally um, see my stitching through I don't think you would but just in case an eighth of an inch is okay um, so I'm just adding this double-sided tape here I'm gonna open up my pocket or I'm gonna I guess I'll keep my pocket closed until Now, I'm going to line up this. I'm just going to center it as best as I can. And I'm going to do the same thing to my bottom pocket here. Okay, so there we go, there's our pocket. We're going to open it up like this. So you're gonna have your top pocket facing this way and you're gonna have your bottom pocket facing this way. And we're just gonna stitch around this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so our next step is to close up the size seams of our pocket here. So we're going to stitch the pocket here at a quarter inch seam allowance to close it up. We're not sewing the bottom because we're gonna keep it open.
So our pocket is done. And we can trim off this excess bottom piece here. I'm going to So now we have our pocket, our zipper pocket with the bottom open. And now we are going to add the bottle sleeve. So grab your bottle sleeve lining piece and one of your side panels. You're going to get your lining piece here and you're going to stitch this at the nine inch side so let's make sure that we are we have the nine inch side okay so we have the nine inch side here we're going to clip And stitch this here at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And now we are going to turn our bottle sleeve right side down. going to roll out this bottom here so that my hold here is nice and even. And I'm going to And now we're going to top stitch this along the edge at a eighth of an inch seam allowance. And we're going to top stitch the other side. Trim that, and now you're going to grab your side panel piece here, measure out one and a half inches from the bottom, one and a half inches, and Place your pocket on that edge there. Clip, and then we are going to sew that down. Okay, so we are going to clip this side here as well. And we're going to stitch this down at a quarter inch seam allowance.
Now we are going to set this aside and we are going to work on our exterior lining. So you're going to want to grab all your exterior pieces right here. And we're going to grab our side panels. We're going to turn them over to the wrong sides with the top facing up. And we want to mark one inch from the top here. So we're going to mark one inch from this top. Do the same exact thing to the other side. Mark one inch from the top edge. So you should have two one inch marks on the top of your lining or exterior piece. I'm going to grab some double sided tape because we are going to fold this down to that line. So I'm going to add some right here to the edge of my panel here. So I'm going to just add it to the edge. And we are going to fold it down to that one inch line here. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. There we go. So now let's move on to the bottom edge here. Same thing, you're gonna grab your ruler and a marking pen and you're gonna measure a half inch up from the edge. second piece and we're going to do the same thing. Mark a half an inch. So there we go. We have these half inch marks. And now we're going to attach these to our side panels. So grab your front panel pocket, so the one with the flat. And you're going to align it with the bottom here. And we want the we want to put the small connector here is going to be on the side. So it's gonna look like this. So we're just gonna flip that over and clip.
and we're going to do the same exact thing to our other side. We're going to line it up to the bottom. And we are going to clip in place. And this is going to be stitched at a half inch seam allowance. We're going to start, we're go you're gonna start at the fold or the half inch mark. So on this side, you're gonna start at the half inch mark, go all the way up and stop at the fold here. On this side, you'll start on the fold and you'll go all the way down to the half inch and stop there. You wanna make sure you don't go past that half inch. So now we have these stitched on our panel. So now grab your back panel. Making sure your straps are out of the way. And just like our other one, we are going to Line it up here at the bottom. And make our way up to the top. Turn it over and do the same to the other side. Okay, so now that we have that stitched on, we are going to, oh sorry, clip. We are going to do the same thing we did to the other panel. We're going to start at the fold and at the um, half inch mark. We're going to do the same thing to our other side. Once we're done with that, we're going to go back. And we're going to add a second row of stitching right here on our, where our straps are here and on the um, 
triangle connector. So sorry. So right here on the strap and at the triangle connectors, um, we want to add a second row. So we're going to do that at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so we are done with the side panels. Now we're gonna move on to our base. So you're gonna turn your base with the wrong sides up. Grab a ruler and we're going to mark out a half inch on all edges. So let's set this aside for now. Just gonna mark out a half inch. So I'm just kind of um, coloring these in because I had some previous markings here. This will just help so I don't get confused. And I know where my half inch marks are. So those are my half inch marks. Okay. Grab your main panel now. And we are going to place these right sides touching starting with the long edge and you want to match up the long edges here so I'm going to flip this and I'm going to do the same thing to my other long edge. So I'm going to match up my ends here.
Okay, so the raw, or the, um, yeah, long edges are now clipped. We are going to sew this. Starting at that half inch and stopping at this half inch here. And we're sewing this with a half inch seam allowance. So. I'm going to put my needle down right at that half inch. Now that that is stitched on, we are going to do the same to our other side. Starting at that half inch. Okay, so there we go. We have both of our sides stitched on. We're going to now do the same exact thing to the side panels. So we're gonna be matching up these side panels right here. Clip in place. And stitch at that half inch seam allowance.
the same exact thing to the other side. Okay. Just gonna take off this excess threads. And there we go. We have our bottom lining done. I'm sure if you can see. Can't see, it's a little dark, but um So now from there, we are going to trim all the sides and bottom seam allowance down to a quarter inch, except for the top three, along with where the connector triangles are located. So I'm going to grab... my ruler. I'm just going to mark out the top three inches just to kind of get a gauge on where it's at. This side. So this is where our connector, our triangle connector is. So we're not going to cut there. We're going to cut up here. go to my other connector side and I'm going to trim right where Whoops. turn this over and I can now trim down this side
Okay, so I have three inches on all sides here. And these were not trimmed where the triangle um, connectors are at. trim down these corners here and I can try them at these we go so we have all this trimmed to that quarter inch seam allowance except for where the connectors are at and we are going to grab some double-sided tape so that we can open these seams here Replacing it. On both sides here. We're going to open the seam allowance. Do the same thing to the other side. Putting that seam allowance, grab myself a clip and I'm just going to clip it. And I'm going to do that to all of my seams here.
Do my last side here. Just like this. And now we can move on to our next step. Okay, so we're gonna set our exterior piece aside for now while we work on our lining. So we're going to grab all of our lining pieces. And we're going to start with our side panels. So we have our side panels here. We're going to grab a ruler and we are going to mark one inch down on the wrong sides for both of the top side panels here. So, now we're going to grab some double sided tape and we're going to add tape right to the edge just like we did on the exterior side panel. Oops. We're going to grab the edge here and we're going to line it up to that mark that we made. We're going to repeat that to the second side panel. So there we go. So now we have both of these lined up to the side panels here. And we are going to Flip these over to the bottom here, and we are going to now mark three quarters of an inch from the bottom here. So three quarters of an inch. And three quarters of an inch. Our lining pieces here and we are going to place the long edge of the side panels with the um, bottle sleeve so right here to the edge of one of our long of our side panels. So actually I'm going to I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to get my bottle sleeve fold it so that it's not in the way and I'm going to clip this right here on So I'm just going to clip this right here um, in the center to hold this in place. And now we're just going to grab one of the linings. It doesn't really matter which one. Oops. And we're going to line this up to the edge. 
and we're doing the same exact thing that we did to the exterior to the lining. I'm gonna grab my other side panel. And I'm going to clip that on as well. Okay, so this is clipped on. We're going to sew this with a half inch seam allowance starting at the, the top here. So this is gonna be a half inch. And then we are gonna gradually go or um, increase the seam to a three fourths of an inch. So by the time we get to this three quarter of an inch mark, we want to be stopping at three quarters of an inch. So to kind of help you, you can go ahead oops, and to start at this half inch mark here. Gradually increase so that by the time you get here, you're at three quarters of an inch. And you can do the same thing here. This will just kind of help if you need that visual guide. So I go half inch. So you want to end at that three quarters of an inch mark. There we go. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side because we have two panels that we're going to do. three quarters of an inch. It's just a nice little guide to have. So if you have a ruler, what I like to do is I start at that half inch and I line up. So my half inch is lined up here and I'm going to angle this so that it's at the 3 eighths of an inch on this side here. So I have the half inch and it's lined up at 3 eighths of an inch on this side. So that way, when I come down here, I line this up at 3 quarters of an inch and line this here at 3 eighths and then I can just connect my sides here. And you can see where it angles down into that Drop the clip in here. I think I just pushed it down. Okay. So now we can just reclip this. Same thing to this side. Okay, and we are going to stitch this at that um, seam increase at the half inch to the three fourths of, of an inch. I'm just going to follow my guides
we finished with that side with the attaching the side panels to the lining here and now we're going to grab our second lining piece making sure your zipper is facing the right way so you want it to be up you don't want to accidentally sew the um, zipper upside down and we are going to clip in place and sew that lining on. So you now have that pocket right here. So we're going to set this aside and grab our 13 inch zipper. And we're going to prep that. I'm going to pull off this Make sure that it is nice and even. Okay. So I have my zipper prepped. So my zipper is prepped. We are going to, I, when I do this, I like to wait till the very end to add my zipper pull on, which is why I use a, um, a metal zipper end. So we're going to grab our exterior lining now, and we are going to attach our zipper. So we have our exterior and our zipper here. Grab a ruler and we want to mark out three eighths of an inch from the front flap. So you wanna make sure that the front flap here is at the top and you want to mark three eighths of an inch from that front flap. So I'm just gonna mark three eighths of an inch So 
So I have a 3 eighths of an inch mark on this side and 3 fourths of an inch on the other side. So this is going to be 3 quarters of an inch. And when you flip this here, you want to make sure that you flip it around. So the 3 eighths is on this side. You want this side to be 3 eighths of an inch because that's where your zipper is going to start. So make sure this is 3 eighths of an inch. And this side here is going to be 3 quarters of an inch. So... So now you're looking at this here. If you're looking at your bag from the top or the side, these should be the same. So these should be 3 eighths of an inch on both sides. Same with this. It's, they should be matching at that 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, so I'm going to add some double sided tape to my zipper here. find my um, eighth of an inch score tape and I'm going to run it alongside my zipper here or really you can It'd probably be easier to just add it on your main panel within those um, marks that we drew out. And I'm gonna do the same thing to my other side. Okay, so now that we have our tape on, we're going to find the 3 eighths of an inch mark, so it's on this side here, and we want the edge here of the zipper where we prepped and sewed, you want to match that at the 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. And it's gonna be right sides touching with the exterior. Now we're gonna pull off the other side and we're going to add the second side of that zipper to that 3 eighths of an inch mark. And we're just going to line it up to the raw edge here. You can add a couple clips if you want, but the double sided tape will hold it in place. So I'm just looking to make sure that it is matching and you can see that they are matching. Okay, so now we're going to base this on with a eighth of an inch seam allowance. So we're going to start here and we're just going to go um, all the way across. So you want, for this here, we're going to start at that 3 eighths of an inch, but you're going to stop at that quarter inch, and you want to pull your zipper, so once you get to that quarter, or 3 fourths of an inch marking here, you want to pull your zipper out of the way, like this. I don't know if you can see. So you're going to want to pull it away like that, so that it doesn't catch at that 3 fourths of an inch mark.
Make sure your handles and stuff are all out of the way. I'm getting close to that three fourths of an inch. I'm going to start pulling away. If it makes it easier, you can clip it to the side here. And then I'm going to backstitch. So now you can see where it trails off right at that three quarters of an inch. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side, only we are going to be starting at the three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to clip my tail out of the way like this. I can see where my three quarters of an inch mark is at because of my tape and I'm going to start just a little bit before that. So I'm going to put my needle down and I'm going to hold this down. And then making sure I backstitch. So there we go. Now we have our zippers on our lining. So now what we are going to do is we are going to pin the or clip our linings together. So the lining is going to be right sides facing out. So you want to turn your lining right sides out. And you're going to place it. inside your exterior so right sides are going to be touching and for me I like my zipper to be on the back so I want to make sure that my zipper is lined up to the back here of my um, of my uh, panel here so this is the back I want my back to be there as well but before I do that, I want to add some double-sided tape again to my zipper between those marks so that I don't have to worry about it shifting on me. So we're going to do the same thing to my second piece. And my second zipper. And you really want to make sure that your handles and stuff are out of the way. So I'm going to open up my zipper down here. And I'm going to clip it. To my zipper so that it doesn't come out. So I'm going to just clip that. And then I'm going to clip my handles or my straps as well so I have that clipped inside so I want to place my lining in here making sure that my back is matching with the back here so this is my back and this is the zipper facing so I'm going to 
line up my centers. So I'm going to line up my center right here. And then I'm just going to line up my edges for both of my sides. So making sure that your seams are open up. So you want to make sure that this is folded over so that it matches your, your side. On the exterior, I put double-sided tape just because I was using vinyl so it's not going to fold as easily. But for this, I can just fold it myself and then add it on like that. And then I'm going to go all the way down here. Doing the same thing, opening up where that seam should be, I'm going to tuck my zipper down so that it doesn't get caught when I stitch this shut. So there we go. You can see where they are matching. I'm going to do the same thing to my other side as well. So I'm going to take my double-sided tape off. Open up my seams here or fold them over. So I'm just opening them up like this. Making sure that my zipper is pulled down. And clipping. And now I can just match up my edge. And then here I'm going to fold. Just like this. And I'm just going to push this down to make sure that my zipper is out of the way. And I can move these clips here on the side because we are just going to stitch on the top here. So we are going to stitch this at a quarter inch seam allowance. So we're going to sew these at a quarter inch seam allowance. And we are just going to sew the straight edge here. We're not sewing the sides. So, quarter inch seam allowance.
only the tops here should be stitched. This side is going to be open because we are going to close it up by top stitching it closed. Um, so now we can turn our bags right sides out, which is why we did not attach the base yet to our lining. This will help to um, turn it. corners on my bag here. And now we can turn in the lining into our bag. And then we're just going to clip along the outside edge here so that we can top stitch this. So you want to make sure that these seams are open here. And we're just going to line it up just like this. I'm going to line my seams up first. And then we'll, when we top stitch this, it will close it up. Do the same thing. I want to open up my seam here. I want to clip on my edge, and then we're just lining up right here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to my other side, making sure it's open. Actually, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to leave my, I'm going to open up my seams here because I have, I'm using vinyl and if I turn that over, it's actually quite thick. It's going to be in my seam allowance up here and I don't want to see that fold. So I'm going to just, I'm going to open up my seams because you can see here, you can see that like bulk right there, but right here where I open up my seams you don't see it so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I'm just opening them up and Now it's so unclip this and do the same thing. Open up that seam. Do 
the same thing, open up this seam here. There we go. Oh, this is so cute. I love this fabric here. And I'm just realizing I marked out my, the way my zipper goes. Not a big deal. It's still going to close. Um, it's just going, I believe, the wrong way. Yeah. No biggie. It's just going to be opening from this side instead of this side. Okay. So let's go ahead and top stitch this. I'm going to start Let's see. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to I want to make sure that my bag, my I'm going to go from the top. You can go from the inside, but I just like the way it looks if I um Actually, we're going to turn our bag right this side up, uh, wrong sides out, because that will help when you top stitch. So the bag will be on the inside instead of the outside. So just real quickly, I'm gonna flip this. So now I just want to, I'm going to go back through here and I'm going to make sure that nothing shift and that everything is still even. Okay, there we go. Now I want to, I'm going to start on the back. No, yeah, I'm going to start on the, on the side panel here and get to where I um, am stitching my back first. So I'm going to start right about here. And we're going to do this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance.
so I'm just going to trim down at these so I'm going to trim down these threads here Okay, so this is now top stitched all the way around. I'm going to pull my lining up like so. actually going to add my I want to add my um, I'm going to add my nameplate to my um, bag I'm going to add my nameplate to the top. Okay, so at this point, since it's a little bit late for putting my for putting my um, nameplate on, I'm just going to go base off the center here. I'm going to mark it. Actually, gonna go based off of this. I'm gonna put it here because I don't really like the way it looks at the top. So I'm just gonna see how big this is. It's about eight and three quarters of an inch. So that means three eighths. So four and three eighths
going to grab some of my interfacing pieces. I'm going to use some Decovo Heavy. These are just scrap pieces that I have, and I just cut them down, and I use them to... I use them for when I want to... Um, back or stabilize my um, when I want to stabilize any of my tags or whatnot so I'm just going to So my, I want to make sure that when I do this that I'm not going through my pocket on my, um, through the lining of my, um, bottom pocket. So I've moved, I moved it away. I can fill the so fuse plus so I know. these marks here add my and now I'm going to add my nameplate Nameplate is now finished. So now we're going to finish our the last step, which is adding our base. Grab your base here, and we're going to set the exterior side for now. Grab a marking pen and a ruler, and we are going to mark three quarters of an inch from all of the edges here. There we go. This is all marked at three quarters of an inch on the wrong side of our base, our lining base. You want to pull you want to open up your zipper and pull out the zipper like this. And then you're going to reach in and grab your lining bottom and pull it through here. So. And then I like to just move this down here so that I don't accidentally sew up my zipper pocket. So you can see here where we have our lining bottom opening and we're going to do the same thing we did with our exterior we're going to 
sew up the long sides and then the short sides at a seam allowance of three-fourths of an inch. So we're gonna stitch this at three fourths of an inch. All the way around. So I'm going to Put my needle down right where that three quarter, uh, three quarters of an inch mark is at. Making sure I back stitch. Close to that three quarters of an inch mark. And I just realized I did not change my stitch length, so I'm going to pull that off and then I'm just gonna go back over it over it with a with my smaller stitch length. I'm just gonna follow that line. And now we're going to turn this over and do the same thing to the other long edge.
And now we can move on to the sides. So we're just going to stitch down the sides. Making sure they're nice and even. Like so. Now to just do our other side. Okay, and now we're going to trim down the seam allowance to a quarter of an inch. So we're just going to trim this seam allowance here to a quarter inch. Okay, now we can push our lining through now that it's all closed up. So we can push our lining back down through the bag. Okay, perfect. And now all we need to do is turn up the edges of our our bottom just want to make sure they're even so Sometimes it can be a bit tricky. So I'm just going to add a clip to the end right here and then I'm going to move to this side. Open up these seams. that I can close it up. And now I 
can just go down Okay, so now that that is clipped on, we can move on to top stitching this. I'm going to add a the tag. I don't know which one I want. Let's see. I think I might do... Hmm. Just going to do the this black tag here and I normally don't put this on until I get close to the end. So I'm just going to top stitch this at an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Now that I'm getting close to my center, I'm going to throw in my tag. So there we go. We have our tag in, and now we can just stuff our pocket back down in to this side here inside, and our pocket is done. So then we can just close it up and 
you can kind of see what the lining looks like. Making sure everything sits nice and flush. So pretty. I love, love, love this. Um, okay, so now I'm going to add my strap ends to the ends here, and I'm going to add my zipper pull and my zipper in. Okay, so now we're going to add my zipper end, so I'm just going to make sure it's nice and straight.
Okay. Okay, so there we go. I have my strap ends on both of mine. And now we can do my zipper. I'm going to add my zipper jig. Okay, and so now we can, I'm going to add my zipper to the end. So I'm just going to use a little bit of double-sided tape. I'm going to add it to the end of my zipper here. And then I'm just going to fold to the center. Making sure it's nice and even. Okay, so now that we have my zipper in place, we are done. So pretty. Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial. So this is what the finished backpack looks like. So pretty. I love this color. Oh. You can see the inside. And I'm going to adjust the straps here. Just you can kind of get like a a cinch look to it. So I'm going to and I really like the strap ends on it. It gives it like a nice, um, a nice finished look. So that is the finished backpack. Oh, so pretty. 
I don't even know. I think this might have to be uh, mine. This, I think, is going to be my new everyday carry. So, I love that with the little pop of the leopard print. Such a cute size. And my favorite thing is, because I've made one before, I made um, a bag previously for this one, and I really love the um, bottle sleeve. The bottle sleeve holds your water bottle in, and you don't have to worry about it falling over. So I think that is genius. I, it's not like a pocket, it's an actual sleeve, so it hugs it perfectly. Um, so that is it everyone thank you for joining me as always the links for everything i use is going to be below in the google doc along with the link to be able to purchase this pattern so bye